there are five important things that you need to unlock in Shrouded right from the get-go, very early in the game. These are going to help you to survive, get to places a lot faster, and get to certain locations where you're not going to be able to get to if you don't get these items. So what do you need to do? Let's get this going. First thing you need to do is the glider. We need to unlock the glider. It's going to allow you to travel really fast to different locations. On top of this, it's going to get you out of trouble because when you are fighting and if you use the glider, as long as you have a stamina, it's going to get you out of there really quick and the enemies won't catch you. So after you set up your crafting table, you're going to go into your inventory and you're going to look for what exactly you need. The great thing about it is that all the resources are here at the very early and I'll show you where you need to go to be able to get them. For the glider, you're going to need a shroud wood, animal fur, string, and also shroud spur. All these items you're going to be able to find by going to the left side on my base it's right from the beginning if you go ahead to, towards the left you're going to find animals that you're going to be able to kill such as this one and there's going to be some lambs that are going to be around this location if those wolves haven't eaten them yet and after you kill them you just inspect them and they're going to have the different items the next item that you're going to need is the shrouded wood and that is here in the fog and all you have to do is pull up your axe knock down a tree that is located in the shroud also called the fog once you take it down all you have to do is pick up that loot and that is the shroud wood and that is probably going to be the most difficult thing that you're going to be able to get because right from the get-go you're not going to know but that's why you got me to help you where to and how to get these items really fast. So do all of that and you're going to be able to get the glider. Now, next thing up is that you're going to go and be able to get none other than the hook. The hook is very important because it's going to allow you, as you are able to see here, to get through different locations really fast. And there are certain locations in the game that if you do not have the grappling hook there is no way you're going to be able to travel or to get to certain locations now the different items that you're going to need for the grappling hook are going to be metal scraps strings and shroud spores metal metal scraps i'm going to show you right now where to get them because later in the game you'll find out that you're going to be able to get them by killing different enemies those are the blue guys but they have to have with them metal type of armor if they don't have it then you're not going to be able to get it all right the strings you're going to be able just to get them very easy i'll show you all you have to go is go to a bush get the bush and it's going to give you fiber fiber once you go into your inventory you're going to be able to as you see here pick up this shroud and gives you twigs and also plant fiber you're going to go into your crafting and then you're going to be able to see that string you need plant fiber and you need three of them and that's going to give you the string so the string you're going to find a string here so you see that there's some early in the game now also the ones that you're going to be able to need as well are the shouting sports. Those are these blue enemies that you kill here in the fog. They're going to give you. Now, where are those metal scraps? Early in the game, there's a few that you're going to be able to get and just come to this location where I am. Now, the metal scraps, right from the beginning, there is a section here where you come. As you see in here, there is a hole on the ground that you can go under. Let's make sure we have our, there you go. So we'll be able to see, and then you're going to kill what's here and then it's going to drop one metal scrap. There's also metal scraps are here. If you search for this, you're also going to get metal scraps and you're also going to get string right from the get go. So as you are able to see, just explore this whole entire left section. Show you here in the map really quick. 
this whole section, which is going to be the long keep. And you're going to be able to find all the different items to be able to get your grappling hook very early in the game. And that is a game changing. If you don't have it, you're going to be struggling a lot. Trust me, I play this game over 30 hours and I got all the tips that are going to help you just to get to different places. Now, next one is going to be the one. As you are able to see here, I'm shooting it. The one is pretty much OP. It's unlimited. You can spam it. You can spam it. As long as, as you are seeing right there on the bottom of my, uh, where the one is, it's green. But in the green is disappearing. So the more you use it, the, le the more is going to be wearing out. So once it wears out, all you have to do is come to the crafting table and it's going to repair it. As you are able to see there, it's already automatically repaired. Now, to be able to get your first one and you're going to go into your crafting location. Now, this crafting, you're always going to have it with you at all times. And if you come here, down here, you're going to be able to craft a wand. All you need is bones. And how are you able to get bones? You are able to get bones by killing the wolves that you're seeing here in the video. Kill them, and then you're going to get the bones. And right from the start, you're going to be able to get the one. Now, as you are traveling and you are using all these tips, which they're going to help you a lot, you want to stick around for the last one, which is a game changing that is going to help you travel and get to different locations very easy. And at the same time, it's going to save you a lot of frustration and a lot of time, of course. Now, the next one is going to be very important and it's going to be upgrading your altar. If you come to this location here, I already have it at level two. One is Upgrade the altar, which you're going to go from 40 by 40 by 40 to 80 by 80. You can do that. But what I would focus first is strengthening the flame. The difference is on strengthening the flame, as you are able to see there, I already have it level two, which means it gives me the following. It gives me shroud passage level three. Two, two um, if I upgrade it, it gets me to three. That means that without you, up to strengthen the flame, there is going to be some areas that you're not going to be able to get around the shroud because it's going to be too OP and it's going to be killing you because as soon as you step into the shroud, as you are able to see here, the you get that yellow bar really quickly. And there are certain sections in the game where that yellow bar just disappears fast and is going to kill you within seconds. And that is why it's very important that you upgrade, not upgrade, but you strengthen your flame because it's going to help you. The other big bonus that the strengthen the flame is going to give you is it's going to allow you to carry four different altars flame altars which is going to go from two to four which means that if i look into my inventory and this is why it's game changing guys because as you are able to see here i have one already in my backpack i carry this one all the time because this is also a fast travel point wherever you set this and i show you here pull up my map i have different flames around the world i have one here on the left side i have another one here on the on the top left and i have one here way 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 up here at the top right why do i do that because it's very very strategic and what i'm trying to do is as i explore i set a flame altar i have that one it's a place that i can always go back and if i die i can always go back to this location instead of going all the way back to the beginning and also is a fast traveling point. So that is why you definitely need to upgrade the altar. The most difficult thing about upgrading the altar, which is you're going to need the sacrificial offerings. The resting, you're going to get it by just uh, destroying trees. 
red mushrooms you're they're going to be on the ground bones i already showed you what you need to do shrouding liquid is those big mushrooms that you're going to be able to find in the shroud if you go on the same location where i show you how to get the shroud wood there is those big mushrooms just get them and it's going to give you the hardest one is going to be the spark but it's not going to be hard if you are following my tips on how on unlocking all these five different items because it's going to help you here in my map i'm going to show you and give you a really quick look on where you are going to be able to find those sparks there's one down here to the bottom there's another one here as you go through the story to be able to go and unlock the blacksmith there's another one here you are seeing different locations you got another one here and you got another one here so there you go i just gave you five different locations where you can go and get those parts once you have those items come back and strengthen your flame and that is going to help you now the last one the last one the last one is very good to get because you're going to go into your skills there's actually several here but it could be one or the other but you can either unlock double jumping double jumping is going to allow you to take shortcuts through the game if you are trying to jump um instead of going through the road and you want to go up a hill and the hill is very difficult to jump with a double jump it's going to be a lot easier and you're going to get through it very fast where if you don't have it you might not just get to it and you're probably going to have to go all the way around which is going to waste a lot of time what i did find though that is very helpful is as you are able to unlock it there it takes about four different skill points and i'll show you another video where what exactly you need to unlock first for your skills points to become very p right from the beginning so as you are able to see there like i said there one tip that i did find out is once you are climbing hills or they uh, or trying to go up high on really on sections if there is grass on the hill jump on it because that is like a cushion that is going to help you it's like a grappling for your feet that is going to help you go from there to another uh higher level and higher level as long as there is grass you're going to be able to do that a lot easier so there you go those are the five now the last one is the bonus one and that has to do with the altar as you guys are i showed you in my inventory you i have an extra altar but on top of this i also crafted a additional work bench what i did find out after playing the game for about 10 hours i keep coming back to my home base to come and repair my weapons because you're going to be engaging in a lot of fights so like i explained to you earlier when you come into the workbench all your weapons are going to be fixed again and they're going to be at 100 strength and you're going to be able to use them if you carry an altar which you're able to see here and also a workbench you can drop those two anywhere where you are exploring in the map as you are able to see there i have one up here if i'm exploring here which is very high level and i also drop my workbench then i'm able to do that from that location instead of coming to my home base because i already have two very awesome legendary weapons that i mean they're game changing they help me a lot to get through different places and kill different enemies as i travel to different sections so hope this video was very informative try to after playing 30 hours try to give you the best tips on how and what you need to unlock for to get started and also to survive in the game a lot easier thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also turn notifications to all for more and shrouded videos coming your way